because mm -hmm. it's like the time that we got signed it was like for us it was like a good time to get signed instead of just getting signed early and developing with label mm -hmm. so we weren't ready to do stuff like as soon as they signed us we could be ready to release something yeah which were a good thing because we'd already done everything ourselves like got everybody we got all this fan base built that all up ourselves instead of doing it the other way around like yeah the label, putting money into you and trying to make you Bigger. So now, were you purposely waiting to sign, or did you, know, no, you no. only got the opportunity? Well, I don't know. know. It, 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 well, came, it seemed to stretch out quite a long time, like labels coming to watch. But some of them would say, like, I'll give it six months or whatever. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then they'd come back a month later when somebody else has put an offer in. And, well, it's I'll, like it's sorry, like, it's like we were talking <laughs> like quite a game. few different ones, and then like, as soon as one put an offer in, we yeah, knew it was going to happen. As yeah. soon as one put an offer in, like, they'd all put an offer yeah, in. Yeah, because they were like, yeah. scared that whatever, they're going to lose you or whatever. But, and was that exciting? I suppose, yeah, I suppose it was, like... It was exciting when we had a, and horrible. When we were at, yeah, it was, it was just, like, stressful, like, waiting for it. But when we were at work, like, when we used to work, I'd be at work waiting for a text message telling, like, like, next offer or something like that. Uh -huh. Whereas we've just been offered this. Mm. And next, I'm like, all right. And then next day, I'm like, what, what's so going to happen today? Yeah. They've offered this. It's like, like a better offer. It were, yeah. It just get, it, like, kind of went up every now and then. But, mm -hmm. but so we, where did we, you we didn't get work? too caught up in that. I worked in a call centre. Mm -hmm. For British Gas. Oh wow! Only part time. I, uh, work, I used to work at Next, you know, clothes shop. Yeah. Next. I used to work there as well. Just I've only worked part time since I left college. Uh huh. And uh, so we could carry on with band. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Undo your job. <laughs> oh. uh, but, um, yeah. So since I left college, just I worked about a couple of jobs. Mm -hmm. Just nothing. Nothing full time or anything, but um, Jamie, other guitarist, he were a full time Tyler, and he did that. Like he passed his course, he qualified and everything. So he were that was like a difficult thing with him working full time and us just doing part time. Yeah. Like they were doing bar work, like working in a bar, and uh, bar work. Well, what were you laughing at? Uh, what were you going to say? Yeah, they were working in the bar, and uh, so it was easy for us to practice when we needed to, cause like. Like they knew the boss very well, so he'd let them have days off if we needed them. Oh really? But yeah, we, we just because we'd played there a few times. It's Boardwalk where we started his first tour. We did his second gig there. Uh, second and the second gig ever gig was there as well. So we like we were friendly with him anyway. And there's a lot of people work there. It's like there's a quite. A, we know some other bands in Sheffield. It's like they all work yeah. there as well. It's uh -huh. just a good place to work. It's like a family of people work there. But, right. um, but with like, Jamie working full time, it sometimes it got difficult because he couldn't get time off as easy because it was a proper job. Like. Yeah. So it, it, it was like, it was, I suppose if we hadn't, if, if we'd all worked part time, it might have happened quicker like that as well. Uh -huh. But I mean, yeah. But, it happens, but, but we wouldn't have been ready, reason, done it, we wouldn't so. have been like necessarily ready to yeah. do a gig or release something or do go on tour, I don't think. So it's kind of, it's kind of perfect to have everything happen. It couldn't, it, it shouldn't have worked any other way, so. Yeah. Yeah. So what was your very first gig like? That's scary. surprisingly good, I'd say. No, because a lot of people, just from react people's reactions, a lot of people... People thought they were going to come and go, oh yeah, that was yeah. really good. Then. Yeah, like your mum and dad have yeah. to say it's good. Yeah. yeah. They don't want to hurt your feelings. But, um, push my <laughs> it was just like another... It, I, I imagine people who came along who thought it's just another one of these kids' band, school bands. And uh -huh. We'll just go off and see what it's like. But like a lot of people, I think, were shocked by it. Because we... A lot of people, a lot of bands, for the first gig they just think oh we've got to do a gig so they don't think about it enough and then they just go and do it and they're not very good or well, like i think the week before the gig we were your parents were away yeah we practiced, we practiced every, day. every day in his house we practiced yeah. for a year before his first gig we like kept putting it off saying oh we can get one we'll do it back August christmas and ended up june and like, yeah yeah so we could do one around christmas and like we ended up waiting until june yeah. in summer and we like built it up like much that it, it just we like practice that much that it were surprisingly good. It was mm -hmm. like, it was like I were overwhelmed by myself like after a gig mm -hmm. and people's it's reaction. And it was like like people coming up to you and like saying that we're actually pretty good. Yeah. Like, yeah. You just can't believe it. Just for your first gig. So, like we was we were only young really then, like sixteen, seventeen or whatever. I think we were seventeen or something like that. So it was like very like, exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So which songs do you anticipate to be your singles off the album? Um, but next one's going to be Bet You Look Good on the Dance Floor. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure after that. I think When the Sun Goes Down might be one. But we haven't we haven't really decided that far in, in, in advance. Yeah. So we just, we just see how they turn out and then see how that'd be a good one. Right? And when does the album come out? 
Um, I'm not sure that could January, be like January, February. February time. Oh, really? The next single will be October. Oh, my God. So, yeah. I can't believe it. I thought it was coming out, like, you know, November, maybe. No, well, what, this year? Yeah. thousand people. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> we're building it up a bit, yeah, yeah. Oh, my oh, God. It, yeah, because we're It's going to be feverish, exactly, like, yeah. beyond it. It'll probably be good, like, that way. We were oh thinking, um, like, to try and... We were, like, originally, we did want to release it this year. Mm -hmm. um, we were going to try for like October, yeah. weren't we? But, but like I was thinking the other day when I were hearing nominations for Mercury Music Prize and I was thinking like 2005 hadn't really been a very good year for new music mm -hmm. so I'd rather be in 2006 Why and starting off well, I'm not going to mention bands <laughs> but, uh, you, but you know what I mean, it was like oh, you, you think of good new bands but, yeah, you think of yeah, like, I, that was quite shocking. For 2005, you think it, you can say it. what good new bands have you come have you heard of in 2005? And it's like none really. <laughs> they have lasted. Well, they have lasted, but not for right reasons. Name them, go on. Not because they, well, no, because you can't because they have you have to name who's good. Oh no, I don't not name any good ones. Well, you don't need to, no. Well, I won't print it. Don't no, worry. no, it's fine. I don't, no, no, it's not like that. But there's no, that's not the conversation. What I'm saying is like there haven't been any good enough bands yeah. in 2005. There's no point in been caught up in all that and just been another one of them bands it'd be good to start off 2006 with a good band yeah, yeah. so is there I'd any bands you're hoping that. to be in company with right, right, it'd be good to be with Little Flames so we, oh, went on, yeah. we went on tour with them um, this first tour uh -huh. yeah, they're, they're, they're yeah. really good we really? really like them like similar age group and stuff yeah we got I on never with them like Delta Sonic or something yeah, Delta Sonic, yeah we get on with them well so that'd be good to be in with them um, I don't know who else there is, like, no, like, Kooks, maybe, so, all right. Yeah, they no, are. And, uh, they'll be. I mean, they're obviously signed now and got a single out and stuff, but... Oh, Kid Fire, they might be. Yeah. So I think that they've already got an album out, haven't they? Yeah, they are. Arcade yeah. Fire? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then they're Canadian, so yeah, they could yeah, be yeah, in Mercury, but... but yeah, yeah, they're coming out with a new one, like, right away. Oh, they're they're yeah, they're going to the recording studio, like, in two months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is quite shocking, but... Really fast. So what do you guys do to keep yourself busy? Like just movies and video games? Yeah. Or? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. So what movies are at the top of the list? I don't know. Today we watched 25th Hour today. Yeah, we watched 25th Hour. Was that good? Edward Norton. Spike Lee. Oh, was this one? Yeah, it was good. What's that? Blockbuster. Usual suspect. Wait, you're checking them no, out from Blockbuster? Well. Sorry, I don't know. No, 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 no. It's just no, a no. case. I don't know. I think, it, it, I'm like, I think he's just... Oh yeah, no. God. When are you going to get that back? Yeah. yeah. I, I think he's just nicked. I think they're fine. No, but we've been playing on... Tony Hawk's 3 and uh, ISS. ISS Pro Soccer. Mm -hmm. so. And do you guys listen to any music? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like, sometimes we'll just listen individually on his Walkmans or his iPods or whatever. But we've got CD player in here that um, we argue about <laughs> what uh -huh. we want to put on and stuff. So, so what would your good. guys' guilty pleasures be? Is what I say? Guilty pleasures musically. Uh, I don't know. It's, what the stuff we've been listening to all together that we've all agreed on has been Oasis recently, like after gigs, mm -hmm. Oasis on all of us sing songs. Yeah, because last year, <laughs> the wind is down. Yeah, last year, last, last tour, tour we had Coral. Coral. Yeah, Coral and Coral on, because I had just come out while we were on tour, so we had that on. You were like that, it was Anthem. Yeah, that was, uh -huh. tour. That was tour bus <laughs> album, and this time it's probably one of the Oasis Mas albums. Yeah, it's just probably in Oasis all of the Oasis, yeah. I don't know why we've re revisited it, but it's not like it's a new album, but we've just been listening to them again, and everyone knows words, it's just like, it's really fun. Nice. It's just fun after a gig, when everyone's yeah. singing it as loud as they can. So do you think Oasis influenced you guys as a band? I don't know. Like, they were first band. Oasis was they were like, first yeah. proper band that I ever Oasis liked. is a band yeah. I've always listened to it, even when I've gone on to like hip hop and garage music. Mm -hmm. I think Oasis were the first band that yeah, any of us yeah. really liked. Definitely, like even at like primary school, yeah. just from my brother buying albums and I've always listened to them. And uh, all the way through secondary school and college. Like, them and new kids on block. <laughs> yeah, let's not forget that. I'm good with it. <laughs> Joey, <laughs> didn't have a top in his hat. <laughs> you remember Genius that? Genius with that. What happened to his hat? Oh. To him, to him to think, oh, that's a good <laughs> idea. I'm going to keep that. Yeah, I'll cut it off. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, oh, yeah, Oasis has always been, always been there, whatever I've gone on to, separately. Uh-huh. Like, which probably, it was probably the only band that were into, like, guitar band that I were into at the same time as been into hip-hop or whatever. Yeah. And then, obviously, like, over the past few years, I've got more into more guitar music as well. So. And we went to see him not too long ago. We went oh, to yeah. see him at City of Manchester. Yeah. Oh, really? Stadium. Was yeah. that good? Yeah, yeah that amazing. Yeah. Great, good, yeah. I've yeah. always, I've always, I never thought I'd ever get to see him. No, no, no. I've never seen him before. From watching the videos and wow. stuff as a youngster. Yeah. So where would you guys like to be in five years' time? City of Manchester. Yeah, yeah. City of Manchester.